in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the heart of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me to the entrance of the temple, where a stream came out from under the temple threshold and flowed eastwards, since the temple faced east. The water flowed from under the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He took me out by the north gate and led me right round outside as far as the outer east gate, where the water flowed out on the right-hand side. The man went to the east, holding his measuring line, and measured off a thousand cubits. He then made me wade across the stream. The water reached my ankles. He measured off another thousand, and made me wade across the stream again. The water reached my knees. He measured off another thousand and made me wade across again. The water reached my waist. He measured off another thousand. It was now a river which I could not cross. The stream had swollen and was now deep water, a river impossible to cross. He then said, Do you see, son of man? He took me further, then brought me back to the bank of the river. When I got back, there were many trees on each bank of the river. He said, This water flows east down to the Arabah and to the sea, and flowing into the sea, it makes its waters wholesome. Wherever the river flows, all living creatures teeming in it will live. Fish will be very plentiful, for wherever the water goes, it brings health, and life teems wherever the river flows. Along the river on either bank will grow every kind of fruit tree, with leaves that never wither, and fruit that never fails. They will bear new fruit every month because this water comes from the sanctuary and their fruit will be good to eat and the leaves medicinal. The Word of the Lord The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear, though the earth should rock, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds He has done on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. 
a pure heart create for me, O God, and give me again the joy of your help. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a Jewish festival, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now, at the sheep pool in Jerusalem, there is a building called Bezata in Hebrew, consisting of five porticos, and under these were crowds of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the water to move. One man, they had an illness which had lasted 38 years. And when Jesus saw him lying there and knew he had been in this condition for a long time, he said, Do you want to be well again? Sir, replied the sick man, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is disturbed. And while I am still on the way, someone else gets there before me. Jesus said, Get up, pick up your sleeping mat, and walk. The man was cured at once, and he picked up his mat and walked away. Now that day happened to be the Sabbath. So the Jewish said to the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath you are not allowed to carry your sleeping mat. He replied, But the man who cured me told me, Pick up your mat and walk. They asked, Who is the man who said to you, Pick up your mat and walk? The man had no idea who it was, since Jesus had disappeared into the crowd that filled the place. After a while, Jesus met him in the temple and said, Now you are well again. Be sure not to sin anymore, or something worse may happen to you. The man went back and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had cured him. It was because he did things like this on the Sabbath that the Jews began to persecute Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise your Lord Jesus Christ. In today's readings, there is water everywhere. The first reading from Ezekiel is sort of the opposite of the flood story. Water from the temple creates a river that supports all life, fish and fruit trees for food and medicine, and is pure fresh water for everything beneficial. This is water that heals instead of water that destroys. Sisters and brothers, as I continue my Lenten journey, we should take time to reflect on our baptism. We should renew the com commitments we or our parents and godparents speaking for us made at our baptism. We renounce sin and evil and profess our faith in a God who is Father, Creator, in a God who is Savior and Redeemer, and ultimate victor in the battle against evil, in a God who enlightens and brightens our life by breathing the divine ruah, the spirit, the breath, into us. At our baptism, we united ourselves with other believers in community of faith. We committed to that community, and the community committed themselves to us. I am always enriched and re-enlivened as we celebrate the welcoming of new members into the body of Christ, the Easter Vigil. My faith is renewed and re-enkindled as I see individuals joyfully commit themselves, freely and without reservations, to being members of God's holy people. It is so enriching to hear the stories of their faith journeys which have led to their wanting to be active participants in the Church of God. It always gives me renewed hope and a greater desire to live out my relationship with the Lord Jesus 
which began at my baptism. The power flowing from the waters of baptism should not be decreasing over the years, but increasing, just as the water seen by the prophet Ezekiel gained strength as it flowed from the temple out into the desert. We should be gaining more enthusiasm and more life as the waters of baptism flow through us. My dear sisters and brothers, may we all take this time to reflect on the relationship with God which began when we were welcomed into the community of faith at our baptism. May we once again be clothed with Christ and be enlightened by the light of who is Jesus. May we feel the new life that comes from the waters flowing from God and may we be the means that God uses to draw others to the water so they can experience the life-giving and healing power of God. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, what in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies, now and likewise in times to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.